What's up, YouTube? It's Boston Chris back with a long awaited but new video. Um, I, I've been away for a little bit, um, you know, just been busy with work, just been busy with, you know, just other things going on in life. Um, nothing bad, everything's fine. Just, um, but when it comes to making videos, you know, I just really haven't had the time to do it. And, um, you know, I just really wanted to wait until I had a point in time where I could just sit down, make a video, not be interrupted, and be able to kind of show you guys some of the stuff I've been picking up over the past, you know, few weeks. Um, it's probably been a little more than a month almost. I'd say probably a month and a half. Um, but I did manage to get a lot of good stuff, so I'm going to go ahead and show you the guys that now. And, um, you know, just thanks for sticking with me. Thanks for watching. Um, but, yeah, so first and foremost, I got something that's it's not a comic. It's um, something I picked up as a consolation for not being able to get a PlayStation 2. I mean, PlayStation, yeah, 2, right. PlayStation 5. Um, I went to one of my local Walmarts and um, was heard that they were in stock. And uh, so I went to go get it, and there was a ton of people online um, on the inside of the store when I went there. Um, and it was surprising just because I had gotten there around 7, just because that's what I was told. You know, they open at 7, but apparently they let people in around 6.30. And, um, you know, there was just this humongous line. And when I first got in, there was nobody in electronics. I was like, oh, perfect. I'm going to get one. I'm, I'm like the first one here. And then like, no, the PlayStations are in the back. And I'm like, oh, okay. So we went to the back, and all of a sudden, I saw about 50 people ahead of me. I was like, oh, no. So then, um, you know, I'm there, and they're giving them out, and, you know, people are buying them. And all of a sudden, I'm looking, and I'm, I'm seeing the cash, the cash is right in front of me. I'm like, oh, I'm going to get one. I was like, cool. And then two people ahead of me, the, the person that was two ahead of me was the last one that, like, sat there, finished his transaction, and then, like, all right, sorry, folks, I sold that. I was like, it was, it was dirty, it stunk, but you know, what are you going to do? Anyway, so I decided to um, do a little Christmas shopping and also get myself a consolation prize. And, um, you know, so I went ahead and picked up a Transformer that I've never owned before. I picked up one of the reissues. Um, he was on sale. It's his um, blaster from Generation 1. Um, I have to say, this is really cool. Um, definitely one I've always wanted but never had. And, um, you know, funny enough, though, I didn't expect him to be this much bigger. Like, he's humongous compared to, you know, the regular figures. I mean, I'll, I'll put up, because like, I, I also got Shockwave at one point, but, I mean, look look at the difference. He towers over Shockwave. Like, he, this isn't a fair fight at all, you know? But, what can you do? And then also, too, which is funny, because, you know, you look at it, he makes Optimus look tiny. I mean, it's, it's not even close. But that's all right. So slowly but surely, I'm adding to my G1 figures, you know, 30 years after the fact that when I was, you know, a little kid trying to collect all these things, or 30 plus years, actually, when I think about it, because, um, you know, it's a long time ago. Like, that came out when I was, what, 2, 84, 85? So it's just, you know, different stuff I was hoping to catch up on. But yeah, man, I was able to get that, so that made me happy. Um, and then since that point, I've, I've been to a bunch of different shops and gotten stuff from eBay. And um, yeah, man, I just have a bunch of stuff just kind of all mixed in. So I just kind of show what I have. And um, if I rem remember the shops, I'll let you know. But um, I was able to pick these two up off of eBay. I was actually really excited for these. Um, so these are Masters of the Universe. So this is issue number 12, um, you know, the supposed death of He-Man. It's in pretty good shape. It's got some spine ticks on it, but not too bad. Like, definitely a cool one to have. Like, these these ones I know um, sometimes can get a little bit pricey. And, um, you know, get issue number 13, so the finale of the, t of the um, series. Um, this one's actually in really, really nice shape. So, really excited for that. Got both of those for a really good price um, on eBay. Um, also, I was able to pick up a little Silver Age for fun here off of eBay. So, got the Avengers 34, the first living laser. Um, really excited for that. Definitely a cool book to have in my collection. Um, and really, it was it was awesome price just because it was very, very, you know, like it was one of those auctions that people aren't paying attention to. So I was able to get it for, I think I got this for around $12. So not too bad. Now that living late is going to be a big deal at some point, but who knows? You never know. Maybe a minor villain somewhere. Uh, next, we have... Blade is issue number 17. 
Um, got this off eBay. This is the issue where I think Dracula bites Blade. So um, I think a lot of people, when they first read this, um, may not have known that. I don't think it was revealed yet that Blade was a vampire. I mean, I might be wrong. I'm not sure, just because I don't have the whole run. So, but um, it, it's kind of like almost the death of Blade in a way, just because like he, you know, gets him and leaves him for dead, basically. But um, really cool. And then um, issue number 19. So this is um, I think first appearance of uh, Van Helsing's granddaughter. And I want to say um, one of these two is. Um, I think Hannibal King too. I think it's the first appearance of Hannibal King in one of these two, but definitely cool to have. And I got these, so I got these a little bit before um, Halloween, and I wanted to show them around then, but just was so busy with everything else going on. Um, this was a pickup, actually one of the very few new books that I pick up. Um, this I got from um, New England Comics, um, you know, to commemorate after um, Chadwick Boseman died. So the Spawn 311 Chadwick Boseman cover. Um, you know, I, I definitely am going to get this graded at some point. So, um, like I said, I don't really pick up new books for any reasons. Just because I'm just too too high to keep up with everything. But um, that's definitely one that I will at some point get graded. Just because I was really excited to get that. Um, on the same day, um, I went hunting in some dollar bins. And I ended up picking this up. So this is Infinite Crisis number 6. Oh, no, sorry, no, number two. Um, and I think this is the first Jamie Reyes, I'm pretty sure. Um, but either way, nice George Perez cover. So really cool to have. Um, next, I found this. I was actually really excited to find this because I was just like, when do you ever see these in the dollar bin? All right, all. So I picked up one of these Marvel Universe, and this is the, um, I forget what they call this thing. Um, oh, the Master Edition, that's right. So it's the Master Edition with the actual... Um, you know, three ring binder. So I, I thought about trying to collect a bunch of these, trying to get these um, all together. But some people are asking a lot of money for them. Some people, some of them are very cheap. Some of them are pretty expensive. So I'm just like, I oh, will have to figure it out. I, I, I hope to find some more over, over my travels and see where that goes. Um, next, got this out of the dollar bin, Robocop number three. So really cool cover. I like this one. Um, kind of like uh, you know, he's getting shot in the arm but it looks like almost like he got shot in the head so it's kind of almost like kind of like reminiscent of the movie when he gets killed um next i was actually really excited to find this in a dollar bin um wolverine 77 um you usually don't find wolverine comics in a dollar bin not to say that this is anything crazy or significant but it's a wolverine comic you know what i mean usually they're gonna sell it for two three bucks but i lucked out i also ended up picking up um a really cool um book here which is um utopia this is what number seven um doc avengers utopia and it's signed by matt fraction um and it also has even the um certificate as well so from dynamic forces and sealed so for a dollar you can't go wrong that's amazing i'm i mean i don't think it's worth all that much or anything like that but to have a certified signature that's pretty badass um next we have another book and I was really um, this actually made me laugh when I picked it up because I was like wow like you you know I've seen a bunch of Marvel Age and I know when it comes to the Stan Lee Marvel Age a lot of people like um, you know the one where he's got the cover uh, sorry, where he's got that crazy shirt on and everything um, but there's this one and it's a Marvel Age with Stan Lee um, kind of and I'm not sure who drew this um, it says Ron Zane drew this it looks almost like Fred Hembeck but also has a um, character of uh, Jim Shooter on there too, so that's pretty cool. I think that's a really cool book to have um, for anyone who's trying to pick up, you know, Stan Lee appearances and stuff like that. Um, next, we have a little bit more. Oh, actually, this is Bronze Age, not Silver Age, but we got some early X Men. So I picked this up off of eBay. This actually I got for way cheaper. Um, funny enough, so they have a sixty dollars price tag. I got this for fifteen dollars. Um, it's I would say probably like a six anywhere from, I would say five five six point oh um so this is the first appearance of Kyle Lykos though he actually ends up becoming um Sauron so um good book to have um as far as you know if you're looking for um speculation for X-Men whatever like you know definitely a good one to have because if 
you know, they do end up making a um, movie and he's in it, you know, it's going to be a big deal. Um, so this I picked up, I think, off of eBay. I'm pretty sure. Um, for my Captain Marvel collection. So we got Captain Marvel number 12. So really cool. Um, Silver Age. Um, doing my best to try to pick up that Volume 1 Captain Marvel run. Um, I haven't gotten everything out of it, but I, I do have a pretty good amount of it. Um, next up, I got these from a store called Comically Speaking. They were having a um, half-off sale, so everything was 50% off. So the sticker prices are not what I paid. Um, but picked up this um, Marvel Spotlight number 6. Uh, first, I think, solo Star-Lord Star story, so pretty cool. Um, this I was actually really excited about. Um, got Hulk 272, the second Rocket Raccoon. Um, so, good one to have. Um, the first Rocket's actually a horror story. I remember right before that trailer, oh, actually right before they announced the movie, I walked into a local shop. They had it um, on the wall, I think, for like something like $15 or something like the first Rocket. And then I went and I was like, ah, I'll come back and get it. Later that week, gone. So, uh, next up we have Eternals number six. So, starting to round that, round out a little bit more, picking up different books. Um, for me, I already have number one. I really just need two and three. And then the rest of them I can just kind of piece together because I've, I've done pretty well so far. Um, Eternals number eight. So, another cool book to have. Um, picked up some more books from my What If run. Got What If number five. Nice square bound. Captain America story there. Um, if you hadn't vanished during World War II. Um, also picked up What If number seven. So, what if Spider-Man had been bitten? I, I had been bitten. No, sorry. What if someone else other than Spider-Man had been bitten by a radioactive spider? So, cool book there. Let's see, Betty Brent, aka Spider Girl. You never know. Um, next up, we have. Um, I think this was from. This I want to say was from Outer Limits Comics. I think. I think. I don't know. Um, so we have Captain America. This is one ninety. Oh, sorry, one sixty eight. So this is um, the first appearance of a character called the Phoenix, who actually ends up turning out to later on be um, was it Helmet Zemo. So this is the uh, I guess early appearance uh, uh, prior to being revealed as the second Baron Zemo. So he was originally called the Phoenix. So pretty cool. Um, also picked up Iron Man number 283 so this is um, Iron Man still in the War Machine suit it doesn't end up being James Rhodes until 284 but another good book there um, next up I picked up and I can actually be happy and say I have finished my Moon Knight run so this is issue number 23 I got this off of eBay um, and then I got the final issue I needed to complete all of volume one and that is issue number 25 and this actually is in beautiful shape um you know no spine ticks um no scratches no nothing on this nice black cover so really really cool funny thing with this too i remember um when i picked up most of the rest of my moon nights um you know and, and this is maybe about a year and a half a year to a year and a half ago um i saw that in the and i was just like i wasn't really feeling the cover all that much but I was just like, ah, and I remember I was, you know, just digging through this um, $3 bin, and I just decided to leave it there, and just never saw it again, and then that ends up being the issue that everyone's like, oh my god, this one. So, definitely happy to have that in my collection. Um, then we have some more from um, Auto Realm, sorry, um, Auto Limits, so, get Hulk number 418. I actually wanted to get 417, because 417 is funny. Um, you find out that Rick, um, Rick Jones's girlfriend was actually in porn at one point or another and she's like in the <laughs> she, she's actually in the video that like you know all the heroes are watching together and like oh my god Rick your wife so it's a funny issue and definitely one that um, usually you can find in dollar bins so if you come across that 417 it's hilarious buy it um, let's see what else do I have here 
um, got this off of eBay. Um, got uh, Amazing Adventures number 12. So story with Beast and Iron Man. Really cool cover. I've always liked this nice yellow cover. So definitely one I'm excited to have in my collection. Um, let's see, another one from um, Out of Limits. Got nice Mike Zek, um, Captain America. This is 250 with the button on there. Kind of reminds me of that Joker one um, where he's kind of running for president. Um, but yeah, really nice Mike Zek cover. Um, let's see, put this over here. Um, picked up some more for my um, New Mutants run. So I got New Mutants. This is number 39. Kind of like the um, uh, same almost um, thought as the uh, Iron Man, where it's just like, oh, Hellions. So pretty cool. I wonder if. Um, Wonder if they stole that from this because this came out in '85. It says, so it's a uh, Bill Sienkiewicz and Art Adams cover. So really cool and a newsstand on top of that. So it's in beautiful shape as well. Um, next we have issue number 27. Nice Sienkiewicz cover newsstand. Then we have issue number 50. This is a double sized issue. Really cool cover with um, magic on the front. Um, this is Rick Leonardi on this one. So, um, another cool cover there, and I want to say, um, I don't think this is, oh, this is, um, the Yosha, I'm, I'm not sure who this, who did this one specifically, but another cool magic cover, this is issue number 34, so, then this one is awesome, I always love this cover, um, issue number 36. Then we have, um, from the Outer Limits, the Eternals number 11, so, and Eternals number 4, another really cool one. Um, then we have um, Fantastic Four number 249. I've always liked this cover. I know that um, John Byrne used this um, on a Superman issue as well. So I just wanted to pick it up just because I like this cover a lot. Really cool issue. Um, another what if we have here. So we have um, what if Ghost Rider, Spider-Woman, and Captain Marvel were villains. So nice interesting take on those three. Figure out if they were villains. I mean initially um, Spider-Woman started out as a villain. Um, if you see her first story, she's fighting Nick Fury and she was an agent of Hydra. So I guess, I don't know. This must have been retold after Spider-Woman number one. Um, next we have X-Men number 152. Pretty cool. Uh, what if number 15? What if Nova had been four other people? So, pretty cool. Oh, avalanche. I knew that was coming. Stack too many things. Hold on. <laughs> Alright, we're good. Everything's fine. Stay there. There we go. Alright. Nice and stable on this side of things. Okay. Next, this is another one that I thought was really cool to find. Um, so we have Fantastic Four number 164. This is the first appearance of Frankie Ray. She becomes Nova later on. She's uh, Johnny Storm's girlfriend. Um, definitely a cool book to have. Um, and then next, this was an actually really fun one, and I was really excited to see this. Um, we have Thor number 300. Nice, um, you know, square bound book. And this is um, uh, just amazing cover. So, really cool. Um, let's see what else. So, these ones actually. Let's see, all right, I'll show these books, and then I'll have a couple more, and then one of them has a story along with it. So I was also able to pick up this. So this is um, 2001 Space Odyssey number eight. This is the first appearance of Machine Man. His name was X51 at this time. So awesome book to have in your collection. Um, actually, even another really cool book that I'm really excited about. Um, got Marvel Spotlight number three. 
So this is the second appearance, and I'm nasty at picking up second appearances. I don't know why I'm so good at it, but second appearance of Werewolf by Night. So really, really cool book to have. Um, definitely one that, um, you know, if they ever make a series, this will be one to pick up now if you can get a chance to get it. Um, and then so um, these next three coming up are really, really cool books. Um, so I went to um, New England Comics and um, I had seen that they had posted on Facebook that they had gotten a collection and they had a bunch of really cool stuff in there. So I was like, all right, let me check it out because usually, um, you know, stuff is sporadic. Like New England is kind of a weird, um, like if you've ever been to it, it's kind of a weird shop um, as far as, um, you know, big books. Like you usually don't see too many. And if you do, um, you know, it's, it's usually just like one. Um, and they just so happened to, I guess, pick up a collection that someone dropped off at some point and they had a bunch of stuff. So I was able to pick up um, Spider-Man 410. So this is uh, when Ben Riley gets possessed by Carnage. So really cool looking book. Um, next, I was also able to pick up this. So we got Ms. Marvel number one. So really cool. Um, and then this one I was like super excited and I was like, I can't walk away without this. Um, just because I, I've never seen this in the shop before and I was like, I, I definitely need to pick this up. And as you can tell, it is one of my top books, not from this year, but from actually last year. So um, it was the final book I needed to cross off my list and really I'm excited about that. So Hope Annual Number One, or King Size Hope Number One. Really, really awesome book. Um, you know, super awesome Serenko cover, just amazing book. And um, one that I've, I can't tell you how many times I've swung and missed on um, on eBay, on Instagram, on, I mean, just trying to get this book. I, I've missed out a bunch of times and I actually had one um, on Instagram. There was a guy who I was negotiating a price with and then he undersold, he undercut me and just because somebody typed claim in the, um, in the uh, I guess, the comments while I was negotiating with me, saying, oh, dude, I'm sorry, the guy said claim, and I uh, have to let it go, and oh, I was so mad. But, got it in my collection now, so, for that guy. So, and normally I don't do stuff like that on here, but whatever, man, just makes me happy, so. Yeah. Checked off my list now, sucker. So. That guy missed out on the sale for me, and that's fine. And his was beaten to death, and he wanted a whole bunch of money for it. He ended up um, getting like 70 bucks for it, and I wasn't paying that kind of money for um, Hulk um, 1, or King Size Hulk 1 in that condition. It was probably like a 3.0 or something like that. And I was like, yeah, no, not today, not ever. Um, so this is going to bring me to the last couple books that we have in, in here. And so... Um, what's going on with these books here is that um, I kind of went down a rabbit hole a little bit and started um, trying to pick up all these um, homage covers and it started with it started with um, a G.I. Joe book that had a Snake Eyes homage to Secret Wars number 8 and I was like you know what I want to get that book so I did I found it graded um, and you know signed by my exec so I picked it up and then I was like well what are the other ones in this so let me check out so I ended up picking up a couple more covers on this and then there's one that I picked up that I have a little story for I know this video has been long but um, th this I'll try to be as quick as I can so um, so I was like yeah let me see what other one so I, I had seen this one before and I thought this is pretty cool so we have um, Street Fighter number one this is a one in ten variant and this is a, um, you know secret uh, sorry Street Fighter number one um, the secret wars you know the street wars so we get Evil Ryu on the cover so pretty cool and then this one I've been chasing for a while and I couldn't find it and I finally actually got it and I'm, it made me laugh because it was just like, you know, I've been, I had seen it in my shop and just didn't get it because I was like, I don't to spend the extra money. But I found it on eBay and um, this actually was pretty expensive um, or it usually is really expensive and it's hard to find. And um, I ended up getting it for very cheap. I picked it, I think it was like $25 and I was like super excited. So we got the secret was the WWE superstars so this is number uh, three with the Hogan and the NWO so that's really really cool definitely a happy book to get for me and last but not least um, the third one of these that I picked up to kind of go along with my collection here um, is um, a book so I was I was 
on eBay, I was negotiating with a guy who was being a dick, 100% being a dick. And, um, you know, he, I guess, had bought a ton of these at one point, and he had 75 of them that he had bought, and 62 of them had sold, so he had, like, something like 15 or something, uh, no, 62 of them sold, so he had 13 left. And so I was like, okay, well, I'll buy one off you, because, you know, and so I said he had a best offer. He had his price set at $19 and best offer. So I was like, all right. So I started sending him offers. And um, nope, can't go any lower than 19 bucks, dude. Okay. Sent him another offer. And I was just like, 19 is the best I can do. Don't send a reply. That's it. I'm not going any lower than that. Fine. So I started looking on um, you know, eBay to see if there's anybody else that's selling these. And then I came across one that was graded. And I was just like, you gotta be kidding me, because that's exactly what I was gonna end up doing with these anyway. So I was just like, no way. So I looked it up, and yeah. Secret Wars, number one variant. Um, and yeah, 9.8, and it's got the Deadpool, um, you know, the Deadpool label and everything. So I read the, wrote the guy message back, and I was like, hey man, thanks for not taking my bid, just be, oh, accepting my offer, just because I was able to get one for $10 more than what you were gonna charge me. So yeah. 9.8 label with the Deadpool 9.9 and uh, that guy is still sitting with his 13 stupid books on eBay trying to sell them so good luck with those anyway so yeah man that's been the stuff I picked up for the past month and a half so if you watch all the way to the end of the video thank you for watching them you know sorry that was so long but I had a bunch of stuff there and I hope that you all enjoyed all the stuff I showed so thank you guys all for watching um, I will hope to have some more stuff pretty soon to go ahead and show. Um, but I, I definitely will be doing another, um, you know, at least another video, um, in the next week or two, just because I'm going to have some time to go ahead and, um, you know, get some other things that are coming in. And then also I will be able to go out and, um, you know, cause I'm, I'm pretty much done with Christmas shopping for now, which is good for me. And, um, I know some shops are probably going to, you know, comic shops, will be open so I'll be able to go ahead and see what I can drum up from there so um, with that being said I want to thank you all for watching again this has been Boston Chris as always happy collecting I'm out